You want to see more politicians lying? Alrighty then, let's get to it. Do you know the names of the foreign billionaires who fund the conferences you go to? Since you don't know the stocks, do you know the names of the foreign billionaires? This is unbelievable to me. Uh, Let me help Mr. you. Mr. Chairman. One of them is Hans like Org Weiss, a Swiss billionaire who has used various dark money front I do groups not know what you to are funnel talking about. various dark money front groups to funnel foreign money into American politics. He has used the Burger Action Fund, $20 million, that then sent money to the Fund for a Better Future, that then sent money to the Climate Power Group that has funded conferences you've attended. When you were here last, I talked with you about the fact that more than 130 officials in the Energy Department reported more than 2,700 trades of shares, bonds, and options in companies that ethics officers said was directly related to the agency's work. This is institutionalized corruption. And I asked you point blank, do you own any individual stock? And you told me, no. Let's just look at it. It was not a difficult question. Do you own individual stocks, Madam Secretary? You said no. In fact, you repeated it three times to me. No, no, no. Turns out that was false. You did own multiple individual stocks. And you neglected to report it to this committee for months afterwards. Why did you mislead this committee? Oh, my goodness. That was exactly my response. So why did Senator, you mislead this committee? I believed that I had sold all individual stocks, and I was incorrect. So I came back and so You just don't know told, your portfolio? Um, pretty much. It's a big one, I guess, huh? No, it's extremely small. Um, Apparently not. Someone manages it for you? So I came back as soon as I found out that, in fact, I had not sold all individuals. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's not true either. Let's just look at the timeline. Let, let's not. You're, I just remind you, you're under oath. Madam Secretary, you testified you didn't own any individual stocks. You didn't sell the stocks for a whole other month. And after you sold the stocks, you waited another month before you informed this committee. Why did you mislead us and what were you hiding? Why did you wait so long? Why did you hide this? I did not hide it because I brought it forth to the committee when I realized that we had made a mistake. Really? What, what, what explains the delay? Why did you wait for a full month to, expo to explain your actions to this committee, your that, false testimony? Uh, that's less than a month, and I sent a letter explaining what had happened. May the 15th to June the 9th. Are we gonna... I owned a, a Ford stock that was... You misled this stock. committee, and you wait. What were the stocks? What were the stocks that you owned? It was a Ford stock that my husband had owned since he was very young, and uh, I just was not aware of it. And what were the others? You sold six stocks. What were the other five? Uh, I sold uh, non-conflicting stocks. What were I, they? I don't, I don't, honestly, I, I don't even know. I do know the Ford one because that was a conflict. You don't. That's why you I don't, raised this. It, <laughs> You're here before this committee a year later after actively misleading to us, after denying and delaying and delaying, and now you won't tell us. Was one of them Proterra? No. You sat on the board of directors oh at Proterra. God. You made millions, CNN reports, and stock options at Proterra. Then you, you promoted Proterra stock and Proterra products as energy not. secretary. Sure, Was sure. that one of the sure. stocks that you sold? This is so... I, I mean, really. Was that one of the really? stocks? So, yes, no, really. No, you are presiding over institutionalized right. corruption in your energy department. You I'm have so violated sorry. the Stock Act nine separate times. You have been referred by the Inspector General for violations of the Hatch Act. It is institutionalized corruption that you are now the face of. And here's what I'm trying to figure out. I just want to know who really runs the energy department. Is it you? Or is it the mega corporations whose stock that you own that you're making profits in? Oh, my goodness. Or maybe it's the foreign billionaires who fund your conferences. Let's try something else. Do you know the names of the foreign billionaires who fund the conferences you go to? Since you don't know the stocks, do you know the names of the foreign billionaires? This is unbelievable to me. Uh, Let me help Mr. you. Mr. Chairman. One of them is Hans like Org Weiss, a Swiss billionaire who has used various dark money front I do groups not know what you to are funnel talking about. various dark money front groups to funnel foreign money into American politics. He has used the Burger Action Fund, $20 million, that then sent money to the Fund for a Better Future, that then sent money to the Climate Power Group that has funded conferences you've attended. 
Do you know who this is? Do you I think it's a no good idea, idea to attend is. conferences no funded by foreign billionaires? About. I have no idea what you're talking You don't know about. the stocks. You don't know the billionaires. You would take no responsibility. Meanwhile, stock. your energy department, executives in your energy department are trading stocks in, in companies that they have direct oversight over, and you were too. Uh, that is incorrect. I, Nobody in my in the Department of Energy, and we have a strong ethics office, does not trade stocks in anything that they have oversight over. That's, that People is, that may is own individual simply stocks. not true, Madam Secretary. Sir, the Wall Street is, Journal Senator, has reported on this Senator, extensively. If I may, Wall Street if Journal, I may Senator, if, if I may just ask the question, is it possible that uh, maybe we can continue this at a later time? But if you had any questions on the energy, direct energy policies. Mr. Chairman, this is directly relevant to institutionalized corruption in the Department of Energy that she oversees. You were, I think, about to say that, that the Wall Street Journal report's wrong. The Wall Street Journal report did not say that people over whom they were, were in areas where they were directly overseeing had stocks. They did not. Our ethics office consults with all of our employees that need to be, con that, that uh, have a rec reporting requirement about their stock holdings. They do not own stocks in areas that they have any influence over, nor do I. Madam Secretary, all I have to say is this record is just deplorable. It is despicable. It is outrageous that hundreds of officers in the Energy Department are trading shares. Incorrect. It is outrageous that you it's misled incorrect. us. It is outrageous incorrect. that you it's are continuing incorrect. to mislead us. And it is outrageous you're going to conferences and events funded by foreign billionaires using dark money to try to influence our politics. This has got to change. And frankly, you should go. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Madam Secretary, last fall, the parents and students at Jana Elementary in the greater St. Louis area, Florissant, Missouri, the Hazelwood School District, learned that their school was potentially contaminated by radioactive waste dating back to the Manhattan Project, as verified by independent third-party testing. This was in October of last year. The school was subsequently shut down. The kids were sent home. For months, they weren't in school at all. It was distance learning, which as one parent said at a school board learning, uh, meeting, is not learning at all. Then they, have, they were bused to other school districts, which is currently happening now. The school is still closed. The kids have been given uh, no permanent reassignments. They're being bused to all of these different districts. There's been no cleanup of the site whatsoever. The parents and the school board have repeatedly asked for testing by the United States government and cleanup. They have written to the Department of Energy. They have written to the Army Corps of Engineers. I have written to these agencies. I've written to the President multiple times asking for a government response to this government contamination. I asked your Deputy Secretary about this in February. He had no answers. I asked the Assistant Secretary last month. She had no answers. So I'm going to try you now that you're here. I assume you're briefed on this issue. Let's just start with this. On January 23rd, the school board wrote to your department and requested a site eligibility evaluation of all school district properties. Have you responded to them? Um, yes, we did. And what did you say? The, the, we responded. First, let me just uh, say, totally understand the significance of the parents' concerns here. Obviously, we don't want any school children to be going to school where there may be a risk of radiation. Um, as you're probably aware, and as we said in the letter to them, that in 1997, Congress transferred the administration and the execution of formerly utilized sites remedial action program, FUSRAP, to the U.S. Army Corps. And that, it's my understanding, they have been doing testing, um, and they are the ones who have the responsibility and the jurisdiction for management uh, of FUSRAP activities. It's only when a site has been totally cleaned up and finished that it comes over to our environmental management. The office. Army Corps, as I'm sure you're aware, says the opposite. They have directed the school district to your agency. They have said, which is why the school board wrote to you on January 23rd. The Army Corps said they needed additional authorization from the Department of Energy, which is why they wrote to you. That is what they have told me as well. They can't do additional testing. They can't do any cleanup without additional authorization. They have pointed us to you. This is what I said to your deputy secretary in February. This is what I said last month. I have not gotten any responses from anybody, not from your department, not from the administration, nobody. I'm sure you can appreciate the deep frustration doesn't quite do it. These kids have been potentially exposed to radioactive waste in their school. 
the testing found it in the dust particles in the school itself, and now they can't go to school, and for months now, they have gotten complete runaround from this administration. The Army Corps says it's DOE's fault. DOE says, oh, it's the Army Corps' fault. Nobody will do anything. So what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to follow up with the Army Corps because it's my understanding that they understood that it's in their jurisdiction, and if you're telling me something different, then I have to go back and follow up. So well, follow up. what are you going to do for the kids to get this school well, reopened? Will well, you designate it as a new FOSRAP site? You could designate the school under the Memorandum of Understanding. You can designate the school and the school district as a FOSRAP site. Will you do that? Let me, let me go back and check if I can because it's my understanding it was not under our jurisdiction. It would not be until all cleanup is done. Um, so let me, let me follow up. Okay. It is April. This happened in October. Mm -hmm. The school is still closed. The parents don't have any answers. Listen, I am dead serious about this. Until we get answers for these kids and until we get that school reopened and cleaned up, I'm going to hold every nominee to your department, every piece of legislation. I'm going to do the same thing with regard to the Army Corps. They have gotten the runaround, frankly, for years. This radioactive contamination is in the creek water that runs right by the school. This community has gotten the runaround for years. And just because it's a community of working people and doesn't have big class donors who give big money to politicians doesn't mean they can be ignored. And they have been ignored for literally decades, and now they've been ignored for months, and I'm not going to stand for it. So I'll stand in the way of anything and everything I have to until we get solutions and results. So you come back to me as soon as you can, but until we get some results here, I'm going to stand in the way until these kids get answers. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I want to go back to, for a moment to, to Jana Elementary. I've introduced legislation that would direct the Army Corps to clean up the school, that would direct testing of the entire school district and create in the Department of Energy, a fund to clean up schools that are contaminated by my Manhattan era uh, project contamination. Would you support that legislation? I would. Oh, good. I'm going to try to pass it next week, so I, I appreciate that. On a different subject here briefly, um, let me ask you about some disturbing ethics reports related to your department. This is from the Wall Street Journal. U.S. ethics officials in recent years have warned one-third of the Energy Department's senior officials own stock related to the agency's work. More than 130 officials in the Energy Department collectively reported about 2,700 trades of shares, bonds, and options in companies that ethics officers labeled as related to the agency's work. Do you own individual stocks, Madam Secretary? No, I'm invested in mutual funds. Good. Um, so this report from CNBC last year that said that you violated stock disclosure law nine times, that's not right, accurate? Um, I did fail to um, um, file a report in my first year that I thought was supposed to be filed at the end of the year and had to have been filed three months earlier. So I was late. That was a... And it, this was, you don't own any individual stock now, so maybe you did when you first came and you converted them to mutual funds? This was, yeah, it totally was the sale of what I had had because I'm not uh, owning individual stocks. I, understand. I don't own individual stock either for the same reason. My, my question to you then is, do you think that other senior members of your department or any department in the executive branch should own individual stock? Why shouldn't we just ban that like we ought to ban it for members of Congress? Um, I leave it to Congress. I think it's easier when you don't uh, own individual stocks. However, we do have disclosure rules and a very rigorous ethics agency inside of the Department of Energy. If somebody owns an individual stock and they work in the NNSA and that stock happens to relate to something over in the EERE and they're not involved in it at all, it's not considered an ethics violation. What, what do you say about the report that 130, official, uh, 130 officials in the department collectively traded yeah. 2,700 shares of stock? All of that has been vetted through and okay. our, and it because they're not trading in areas where they have any influence or are touching. But the report is that these are companies, for instance, 28 Energy Department officials own stock in Exxon, 17 officials own stock in Chevron, 15 hold stock in both. And they may not be doing anything related to fossil fuel. Uh, it may just be part of their portfolio. Boy, that looks but it bad. doesn't. It doesn't involve or influence in any way our actions.
It doesn't. It doesn't it does influence not. their actions. It Owning absolutely the individual does not. stock doesn't. It, then why did you it sell yours? Absolutely does not because I signed an, an ethics agreement with the president of the United States saying I would divest. Well, presumably because he was rightly worried that owning these individual stocks would influence your decisions, don't you think? Well, it's different when you're the head of a department and you have a whole agency. Versus when the regulator. When you're in one part of an agency and you trade a stock that happens to be dealing with a completely other part. We have 100,000 people in the department, a very vast agency, and they're strewn about the country. Um, if somebody over in uh, NNSA buys some stock over that in, in, in Exxon, it doesn't involve their particular area of influence. And that's the influence part, I think, that you're objecting to. Well, so I, I guess I don't understand your position. Your position is you're not concerned about 130 officials in the Energy Department collect, collectively trading 2,700 shares of stock, including in Chevron, Exxon, and, and others? Other I would be companies? concerned if our ethics uh, office was concerned, but they have reviewed all of the investments and all of these disclosure agreements and the people who are doing individual stock trading are not involved in any decision making related to a stock that they purchase. Well, well I tell you what, I think I've got a solution, which is let's just ban it. Let's ban it for all executive department officials. Let's ban it for members of Congress. How about that? I would not object to that. I think that I am it. So you'll be happy to know, Madam Secretary, that uh, we're grateful for you being here. Members will have until the close of business tomorrow to submit additional questions for the record, and the committee stands adjourned.